guys, GPMJ loves. Oh my god, so honestly, I get so annoyed with my introduction because I sound like the fakest Barbie bitch you'll probably ever meet. It's like, <laughs> whoa, yeah. It's just so ugly. So today's video is going to be about relationships. Now, I've done a video about relationships in one of my past videos, and it was my how to get over someone video, and apparently I gave good advice, and people actually took the advice to heart, and it actually worked for them. So I decided why not I just, you know, share my two cents on another part of being in a relationship or getting into one or trying to, you know, work something out between two people who technically like each other and you want it to be, you know. I love you, finger wife. I love you too, husband finger. Happy couple. So let's go with the typical example A. This is how it works out. There's you. Now you like someone, but you're not sure how they feel about you. So you sit there in your agony, watching the person you love, but not being able to tell your feelings to that person. And then there's them. I don't know whether it's a him or a her, so I put them both down. So you have feelings for them. They probably have the same feelings for you, but you can't grow a pair to tell them how you feel because you're scared of rejection or the ultimate teardown. Okay, so in all seriousness, if there's anything I learned from liking someone and like, you know, just having these emotions for someone, it would be to actually tell them. There have been too many times in my lifetime where I've liked someone and I just kept it all built up inside myself because I was scared of the way that they were going to react. Because most of the time, these guys that I did like were my friends. So I felt like, oh my god, if I tell them how I feel, I'm going to ruin my relationship. Well, you should already know, you liking them is already going to like add some effect to the relationship because you're going to be acting different around them, first of all. And B, they're going to sit there and, you know, they're going to tell you how they feel about, you know, other girls or whatever. And they're going to tell you I like someone. And you're going to have to sit there in agony watching them because you were the chick who couldn't tell him how you felt because you were scared of rejection. Now, let me just tell you, rejection isn't that bad. Now, um, I probably, you know, I just want to say I have experience in being rejected a lot. So I'm just going to share my two cents on that too. We're saying they could possibly say is just saying no. So if this is the case, then you just move on. You know, you go on with your head up high. You don't care. It's just another person. There is plenty other fishes in the sea. You don't just need that one person. And if the person is so much of a douchebag to not talk to you again because you have feelings for them, then that person obviously was not worth your time because they're cutting you out of their own life, which is their loss, because you have feelings for them and they're just like scared. Example B, my relationship thing. I see this happen a lot with my friends in their relationship. I would just have to say when the chick doesn't let her man breathe. Let me first I'll tell you, that will not end up good because the man will break up with you because you did not let him breathe. You don't need to be on his case 24 hours a day, all up in his neck, breathing in his ear because you're scared he's talking to another chick. If you are so worried about that, maybe you guys weren't meant to be in a relationship just yet or maybe even in case, not even a relationship at all. Because if you're so insecure about your man talking to some other girl, then there's obviously a problem there. A relationship is built on trust, so the next time a teacher assigns your man to be partnered up with the girl in class, don't threaten to kill her because they're partners. There is a reason why he is with you and not with the other girl. And that concludes my um, advice video. Um, I hope you guys found my advice helpful somehow. I mean, I might not be the most experienced girl in the world, and on top of that, probably not had that many boyfriends in my lifetime but I mean this is just you know from my point of view of how I see things so I'm not asking you guys to agree or anything but just saying if any of you girls ever feel that way or guys don't know who watches my videos then um I hope you guys enjoy this and that's about it bye guys